I saw the video of the young man and it was it's just ridiculous. It's like I don't even know how to describe it. It's ridiculous, you know, because I have brothers, you know, that I worry about their safety. And the other day, right after I heard about this, I was on the bus in San Francisco and I was looking at these black youth, young black men, right? And I was just looking at them like, are they going to survive? What's going to happen to them in like 10 years? Where are they going to be? Are they going to be in school? Are they going to be in a cemetery? Like, where are they going to be? You know, and I didn't want to tell them, you know, of course, like, I wanted to tell them, like, you guys do good in school, you know, do whatever you can to just make sure that you succeed and then be an example to the younger people, but it's like, I don't even want to put that in their minds that they might not have a future, you know, and, like, this is the world that we're living in, in 2009, in the United States, land of the free, you know, that's fucking, I'm sorry, that's like, to me, that's just wrong. Uh, when I first heard about it, I was really mad because I saw the tapes online, and what they did was really unnecessary and it was out of hand and I feel like they should pay for it. You go off by what you see on the cameras. There's no, he's saying nothing. You can see what's going on. You can see that he killed him for absolutely no reason. And there's no cover up for that at all. To look at the video from different angles and everything, I just can't see how he could have possibly been shot in the back and it could have been any kind of accident whatsoever. And then they was trying to uh, they was trying to justify it on the news by saying, oh well maybe it was, you know maybe he mistaken it for his stun gun or his taser. And we we know there's a difference obviously between a, a real actual steel gun and a taser. 